Hello, in this video we are going to simplify this without using calculator. We have square root of 7 divided by 7 divided by 7 and divided by 7. So let's get started. We have solution. So we have our square root symbol here. And for the first two terms here we have 7 divided by 7. Then we have divided by 7 again. But before we do that, let's consider this trick. If you have a divided by b, then you have divided by c, like in this case here, these first three terms. This simply means we're going to have a divided by b divided by c over 1. And if I draw a line here, that means we're going to have a divided by b times this one here will come up. We're going to have 1 divided by c. And this is equals to, we're going to have a divided by b. If you choose to multiply, you have c. But in this case here, that means we're going to have 7 divided by 7 times 1 over c and our c here is 7 we have 1 over 7 now if you also divide this what we have here 1 over 7 by 7 you're going to have 1 over 7 divided by 7 will be equal so you're going to have 1 over 7 divided by 7 over 1 and this is like saying 1 over 7 times we have 1 over 7. So that means we have this extra 1 over 7. So we have times 1 over 7. Now our square root becomes, we're going to have square root of 7 over 7 is 1. We have 1 times 1 over 7 times 1 over 7 is 1 over 49. So if you multiply this out, you're going to have square root of 1 over 49. Now, if you have maybe a to the power of negative 1, this is equals to 1 over a. So 1 divided by 49 is simply equals to square root of 49 to the power of negative 1 going by this identity now we can continue the next slide because of space so we have square root of 49 to the power of negative 1 now 49 is a perfect square which is equal to 7 to the power of 2 so we have square root of 7 to the power of 2 or to the power of negative 1 and if you have a to the power of n or to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n times m and which is also equals to a to the power of m or to the power of n so if this expression here represent what we have here that means it also means that we can as well represent this expression by this so that means you're going to have this is equals to square root of 7 to the power of negative 1 or to the power of 2 now the square root here can cancel the squared here so we now have 7 to the power of negative 1 and 7 to the power of negative 1, according to this identity, a to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over a. That means our answer can be written this way, or 1 over 7. And this becomes the final answer. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.